My name is Maciej Mazur. Together with me is uh, Wajiha Hamid. We will be presenting to you a little bit of story about network functions and how to monitor them. So let's start from some short introduction. So basically, our idea is that network function is not alone. If you are a creator, a developer of a VNF, you have your own business logic and all the like telco specific features that the network function is doing. However, there are also many non-functional requirements like the logging, monitoring, the, all the security related stuff, visualization and so on, which are also important operational capabilities, but not core of the network function itself. And our idea is to make it easier for developers to create VNS by basically automating all of this stuff. So if you look at the current monitoring ecosystem, there are so many different tools that allow you to monitor the metrics of your uh, container, of your virtual machine and the whole infrastructure and to visualize it nicely. So there is a, like a big group of tools to choose from. And the same goes for logging and tracing and chaos engineering and so on. So there are some more and some less popular choices. However, like the variety is quite big and it's also something important to keep in mind that uh, deploying a VNF or deploying a KNF means that it should integrate to currently existing monitoring tools. So basically in some cases more for more popular functions, it will mean that actually it needs to be able to integrate to all of them. If you look at like a typical telecom operator ecosystem, there will be hundreds of different network functions on the core side, on the radio side, there are OSS systems to monitor. So basically every vendor coming in with uh, like the, the bigger telco vendors coming in with their IMS or UPF or whatever, they come already with some OSS capabilities with monitoring tools, logging tools, and so on. So in a typical scenario, you will have like many different monitoring and logging tools and some umbrella level system that gathers the metrics and gather the, lo the logs and allow you to search through them and do proper troubleshooting. So basically, if you look at the OSM and how it works currently and how it is deployed, it can be deployed with charms, which are basically the way to compose uh, different components and relate them. And actually the same nice and familiar way of deployments can be used for additional functions of your network function. So if we look at a charm, charm is basically a way to model the complexity of the deployment of an application. So you may imagine it as a piece of code that basically informs others in its surroundings what it can do. So basically like a network function charm would say that, hey, I'm using an SQL database. I can send my KPIs when in this and this frequency, and I can send my audit logs. So, okay, this is a good information. There can be also another charm here in this example, Greylock, which collects audit logs and these two charms finding themselves together, they can form a relation. And basically having such Greylock relation means that without any additional hassle, the network function will start sending audit logs to Greylock. The same goes for other relations like to Prometheus or databases or any other tools that you might need as additional things for the network function itself. And uh, together with Charms, there is a platform called Juju where there is a UI where you can display the bundles, how they connect together and how they operate. So, and also you can use it to deploy on different targets like basically Kubernetes environments, uh, OpenStack environments, as well as public clouds and the bare metal. So the main benefit of such approach is that the same set of tools and same automation everywhere. So it's easier to create it and easier to debug it and trace it in case of any problems in production. Uh, also, this uh, basically enables all the non-functional requirements uh, in the entire telco ecosystem. So you can use it to deploy a network function on the micro cloud at the edge. You can use it at the core network or on the OSS, BSS or other like service layer things. And this is basically uh, the tools that we want to demo to you today. And now jumping in to the demo section, my colleague Wojciha. Okay, thank you, Maciej. So uh, I'm Vajiha Hamid, and uh, I'm I'm the product manager in Canonical. 
So, and today we will be uh, getting the hands-on experience of what Mache has just described. So to understand the complete picture, um, as, as uh, Mache has described, we will be uh, taking a sample KNF and deploy it on the Kubernetes. And uh, we will be using MicroKids in our case. And once the network function is deployed, then we will uh, uh, we will show that how this network function can be integrated with logging and monitoring stack easily, and which could um, which includes the tools like uh, Prometheus, Grafana, and Elasticsearch. So, and at the end, uh, we will scale the KNF that is workload deployed on Kubernetes in our case, and see how this will be automatically integrated into the existing LMS stack. So overall, we would be monitoring this uh, telco network function. Okay. Juju is the driver behind all of this, and uh, I'll uh, show that if your workload and it can be your any telco workload, if it is jammed, that how it, uh, easy it is for you to integrate it with the LMS tag uh, using the Juju relations. And I am assuming that you know about the Juju relations and Juju controller and Juju model from the previous sessions, I hope. But if you don't know anything, just um, drop a, a question or you can ask in the end. Okay, and later we can write obviously uh, the OSM descriptors to make it possible through OSM. So with the very basic steps, let's start the demo and we will uh, first deploy the charms. So just to give you a context, charms are just the uh, scripts that simplify the management and configuration task and they are managed by Juju actually. So we will first deploy the charms for LMS tag and uh, then we will deploy a charmed workload. Uh, that is KNF, uh, Kubernetes network function. And um, then uh, we will deploy um, uh, the, uh, so we will uh, relate the KNF uh, or integrate the KNF to the LMS stack. And then we'll, uh, the interesting part is we will scale the KNF and we'll show that uh, how uh, the existing LMS stack will integrate into the uh, KNF. And then at the end, we'll uh, order some logs in Raylog and see the metrics in Prometheus. First of all, um, uh, here is my Kubernetes cluster deployed. Uh, we can see the Juju status in parallel, and uh, uh, here we will deploy our uh, KNF and the uh, LMS tag. Okay, so uh, before that, we have created a bundle for you all uh, for deploying an LMS tag and integrate it with your network functions. So you can do it with just one command. So it's uh, you can just see what I'm doing right now. You don't have to follow any, any anything. Okay, so uh, Juju, uh, actually here I'm again giving you a bit of context. So Juju is just the application modeling tool that allows you to uh, deploy, configure, and scale your application. So, and it will just need a controller and model to work right now. So model is a set of applications, like these all applications will be in the model and these will be managed by the Juju controller here. So the first step will be we will deploy the Juju controller uh, and we will add a model uh, in which we will deploy the Grafana and Prometheus first. We will do the monitoring part first and later we will jump to the logging part. So first we will uh, do the monitoring part. We will deploy Grafana and Prometheus and we'll show that how with a single command we can relate these two. And then we will deploy our network function and we will relate this to Prometheus. So let's do these uh, steps first. Okay, so for bootstrapping the controller, we will be using this command, juju bootstrap microkits, and it's uh, it will be bootstrapping uh, the juju controller on microkits. Uh, and I have already crea uh, created the controller, so uh, just to save time, so I'm not doing it, but I uh, just wanted to show this command. So if we go to the juju controllers here, we can see that I have already uh, have set my controller here. And that is with the name MicroKids localhost. So now let's add the model. And we will add the model by Juju add model. And our model name is ecosystem demo. So let's create it. And we can see here that the model is added uh, in the Juju and uh, the operator is running. Um, so yeah, so these uh, two commands are just, um, sorry. Yeah, just for uh, the basic configurations and it's fine. Okay, so <clears throat> let's uh, start with deploying the monitoring 
stack. So first of all, we will deploy our Prometheus and we will do it with charms. So let's deploy Juju, deploy uh, Prometheus, and we will see that uh, what you were hearing in the last sessions about the workload operator and the um, uh, pod operator, we can see here, like in the Kubernetes, when we do the uh, Juju deploy, we have our uh, operator pod and we have our workload pod. Um, it's It will be ready in a minute. And uh, we have uh, added Prometheus as a unit here. So that's fine, I guess. And um, yeah, so let's move on to the Grafana. We will do the same with um, Grafana and you'll see the actual operator of the Grafana and then the operator will deploy the workload that is here, Prometheus. And uh, same is the case with Grafana. And now we will relate our Grafana with Prometheus, that is with just one command, and that is juju relate Grafana and Prometheus. And we'll see that it will execute again to uh, relate the Grafana and Prometheus together, if you can see here. And uh, now let's let's deploy our network function. That is mock KNF in our case. We just have a sample file there. And uh, now at the end of the monitoring stack, we just need to relate our mock KNF with Prometheus. And now we are done with our monitoring stack, uh, monitoring part. It will take a minute, so let's go back to the slides, but we have done and what we are gonna do. Uh, so we have done this part. We have deployed the monitoring uh, part and we have related our network functions to the Prometheus. Um, and now we are going to deploy gray log. We will uh, uh, deploy the gray log and then we'll relate this to the Elasticsearch with file beats and with MongoDB uh, because gray log needs Elasticsearch and MongoDB to, uh, to work. This will uh, do the logging part for, for the for our network function. So let's try that. Okay, so for logging, we'll do the juju deploy gray log. It's that simple. And uh, it will ask me for the admin permissions, I guess. Admin password in a minute. Yeah, so it needs admin password for the config option. So I will do just by juju config and I'll set the password. So, um, and now it uh, will, yeah, so now it's showing that it needs uh, MongoDB and Elasticsearch relations. So now we will deploy MongoDB and Elasticsearch and relate that to uh, Greylog. It's MongoDB. And it's just a parameter we need to set for Elasticsearch. It will be fine, I guess. And then we will deploy Elasticsearch. Okay, and at the end, we will uh, relate our gray log with MongoDB and Elasticsearch. So we are doing with MongoDB and we will do it with Elasticsearch. And the last component was FileBeat and we are using FileBeat to um, centralize all our logs from, from all, all the Kubernetes pods uh, underneath. So, um, we will deploy file bead and we will relate this file bead to the gray log so it can give all the logs to the gray log and we can analyze there. Okay, so that's it. We have uh, done all our um, the monitor. So the LMS stack is ready and the LMS stack is uh, integrated to our network function and it has started the mon monitoring and it uh, starts auditing the logs from the KNF. So um, it, it will take a while uh, to go into active state. So I'll, I'll, I'll use the juju switch command to switch between the models. So that's also the beauty of juju that the models can be reusable. And uh, I'll do the switch model and I can easily shift to another model that is very similar. And I have made that before just to save time. Uh, so we have shifted to that model. And if we see here, this is pretty similar to the previous model. So yeah, so all the nodes are active and uh, uh, all the pods are running, all the units are active. So uh, let's see what we can do here. 
So we have our Prometheus deployed, we have our Grafana deployed, we have our Greylog deployed. So let's uh, go to these IPs and uh, uh, see what we can, uh, what we have recorded there regarding our mock KNF. Yeah, so I put that uh, the, uh, those IPs here, and uh, now we can access these. Um, the, if if we see the targets, uh, Prometheus uh, uh, configured this mock KNF target zero, and um, in in the Grafana, what we can do is create a dashboard, and uh, we can search for uh, some CPU utilization metrics and uh, for for our workload here. Here they are. So um, these, these are all the CPU utilization from our uh, mock KNF0. That is the first unit, and that is our network function. So we are getting the metrics from our network functions. And uh, if we go to the logging part now, uh, then we have gray log here, and we need to add input. And our input is coming from file beats, as we have discussed before. So we will uh, configure that. And now it's running. So if we go to the search, we'll go in this. It will take some time to, let's see if we have inputs here. It's up and running. So it will uh, take few. Oh, there they are. Uh, okay. So if we see the logs, we um, have our logs coming from the workload, and uh, we can we can uh, do any search query here. Like uh, we have a um, call record uh, data here, so we can do search any number, and we can we can see the activities. So if I put a sample uh, number here. That is, it, it can be anything. So, um, so we can have the record uh, and logs for for that number, and th that is for the uh, so that all the monitoring and logging part. It was from just one um, a KNF function. So, if you want to scale your uh, KNF or or your workload, so that is really interesting. So, if we go and scale our KNF. Uh, we see that uh, the, mon uh, the Prometheus, Grafana, and Greylog will automatically integrate it uh, to the scaled application. Okay, so let's do that. The scaling part, we will scale our application to three by just Juju scale application. That's it. And we will see that in a minute they will be ready. So that is. Our mock KNF1, mock KNF2, mock KNF0, and they are active at oh, certain state. And see, uh, Prometheus is reconfiguring itself uh, automatically to integrate uh, those new added targets here. So this is waiting for a container and Prometheus is re reconfiguring itself automatically. So we didn't do anything with the Prometheus, with Grafana and anything. We just did the Juju scale and everything happens with the Juju relations here. This is active and running. We can see the Grafana. So if we go to the targets again, if we refresh that, we have um, our, our KNFs, um, we have the targets, and uh, these are three uh, applications that we just scaled um, up in our Juju. So it has automatically reconfigured, and we are getting metrics from three applications now. And if we go to the Grafana, then uh, we can just change from zero to one. We should have our data. And it. If we do it in the last five minutes, we'll have that because we have just um, initialized that. So we have the data from here. So if we do uh, get the data from, want to see the metrics from all the nodes, what we can do here is, and it's not working like this. 
okay let's come in here in a bit so if we if we see the logs um we can we can also uh, check that the logs are coming from the three nodes uh if we search for mock knf it should be one zero and so so there are the logs from knf1 also and we should have the logs from the um, knf2 also and we should have the logs from uh, the knf um, zero also so if we do Uh, we we have the logs from all all the instances that we are uh, we we just have deployed, and uh, let's add another query. Mm. Let's refresh it. Reload, and we will add and with ID two not found. Okay. Uh, it's not allowing me to enter, but we have seen that we 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 got the metrics from from KNF one also, and uh, uh, we can have the metrics from KNF two also. So, um, so yeah, and 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 Prometheus have already configured these three workloads um, that has been deployed. So, um, I guess that's. It from my side, and at the end, yes. Yeah, so I, I would, uh, if you want to try this uh, whole thing that I have done here, we have made a bundle for you, and uh, uh, so that that's again the beauty that this uh, is repeatable with all your workloads, and you don't need to configure the tools again and again. So uh, we have created a bundle for you. If you can just do all this, this by doing. Uh, by using this one command, I'm not going to do this, but here it is. You can do this by Juju deploy KNF LMA stack. So you will have your uh, LMA ready and all the steps which I have done there. You just need to do the Juju deploy um, KNF and I will put that in the chat also. Okay. So you can uh, deploy all this LMA stack in, uh, with, with this mock KNF in just one command. Uh, and if you want your network function to be charmed and uh, get tested by this LMA stack, we would happy to help you. And just post a comment on our discourse page. That is the link here. You just need to go and post a comment about your network function here, and we would be there to help you. Um, that's it from my side. Thank you, Mache, and thank you, David uh, Garcia, to help us out in, in the whole demo. Um, and Let's move on to the questions.